Hi guys, my name is Latif and in this video I'm going to show you how to download and install Elementor Pro and free Elementor page builder on your website. So we're gonna start with a, a hosting where you are going to host your website. The one that I'm using is called hostinger.com and you can find that one on uh, this URL which is uh, lachoweb.com and by, by going to tutorials here you have the hosting where you can download the WordPress and where you can get the Elementor Pro so by clicking to the hostinger it's gonna redirect you to the hostinger website from here you need to start now there are lots of good uh, deals going on which you can see for 99 cents a month you can get a plan a hosting plan so in this case because I already have created my account I'm gonna log in so I'm going to use my personal website email And then, uh, so after I log into my account, here I can see all the hosting plans, which on all of them you have different uh, sub hosting or different domains. So in this case, I'm going to go to my first one and I'm going to create a subdomain and then uh, on that subdomain install WordPress and install Elementor free. And then Elementor Pro. So I'm gonna look for a subdomain. I'm gonna create one calling tutorial dot my first name last name dot com. I'm going to create that one. <coughs> It's already created. Now I have to get into that uh, plan and install the WordPress. I'm gonna find that by going to hosting. Now, and here now I need to find my domain where I created that subdomain, which is a uh, lativeire.com. I'm gonna go to manage. In here. I need to choose what do I need to do. In this case, I'm going to go to Auto Installer and then choose the WordPress. In here, I have to choose the subdomain that I just created. I'm going to find that one by clicking the drop down and going to tutorial.latifida.com. WordPress, I'm going to create an administrator username then uh, administrator password then the administrator email it, it's good title of this one is going to be tutorial the version is fine the language is fine it creates own database I'm just going to click install After installing, it's going to take some, some time. The installation is done, and now the browser is asking me if I want to save the password going to do no thanks so at this point we have to log into to the website we're going to find that by going to well, the subdomain that I just created 
it's going to be forward slash WP admin. Hit enter. Now it's going to ask me for the email or for the username that I created. In this case, it was this one and the password. Remember me and then hit login. So at this point, we have a fresh installation of WordPress. How you can see, if I open the site, it is nothing. So usually what I do is first I clean up the whole website. So because WordPress have already created two pages, I'm deleting those. Then also go into a trash folder, delete them permanently. Okay, then uh, going to the post. Also here, same process, trash, go to the trash folder, remove the, the post as well. And from here, I usually go to the plugins. And here, I don't use any of the plugins that I have installed here. So I'm going to select all of them and do deactivate, hit apply. So all plugins are deactivated and I'm going to go and delete them. Hit OK. All plugins are deleted. Now from here, we have a fresh plugin, we have fresh pages, and we have a, a fresh post. At this point, all what we need to do is go to the plugins, hit add new, and now on the search plugin, search for Elementor, which, okay, hit enter. After you search, it's gonna be the second one, Elementor page builder. You make sure download this one and hit install now. The installation is going to take a few seconds. After the installation is done, we have to activate it. So after the plugin is downloaded, now I need to activate it. So by, click, by clicking activate, I'm activating the page builder and uh, now we have fully installed Elementor. At this point we have free Elementor. So we can see that by going to the pages, create a new page and uh, on here we have to create the, the home page and then to open the home page with Elementor page builder. Okay, we're going to close this one, we're going to choose a title, which is going to be home, and uh, we're going to hit update, publish, and then go edit with Elementor. So at this point, we are at the Elementor page builder. So currently, we don't have assigned any theme, which uh, I personally recommend uh, Ocean VP or Hello Theme by Elementor. So in this case, we're going to install the Ocean with uh, WP, and you can do that by going to Appearance, Themes, and then searching for hit Add New and search for Ocean WP and hit Enter. And here this is the only theme that you need to do, hit install. After the installation is done, we have to activate and uh, install the pre-required plugins for this theme. So now we can see that we have to activate it. I'm going to click activate. And I'm here now on top, you can see that uh, this theme recommend the following plugins, which I'm going to install them by 
selecting all of them, hit install and apply. So now we can see that the installation is completed, all plugins installed and activated successfully. We can go back to appearance, click on themes, now we can delete the other ones. I really want to keep my design clean. So delete this one as well. And now we have the Ocean VP, the only one. Currently, again, still we have the Elementor 3 installed, which we can still use for creating the website, but we are limited on this one. So we can go edit with Elementor. We can import templates from uh, Ocean VP, or we can use the ones from, uh, from Elementor. But with this one, I'm gonna go with a little bit more deep on the other video. So now let's go and activate or install the Elementor Pro. We can do that by going to the same website that I provided you earlier, so go to Tutorial and just click to Elementor Pro. By clicking to the Elementor Pro, it's going to redirect you to the Elementor website. Get started. It's going to ask me to sign up, which all you have to do is just put the email and the password. And you can also purchase the Elementor from here by going to Pricing and you can choose any of these plans that you like. If I get started by now, my favorite one is the expert one, 199 that I can use for a thousand sites and I have everything included. Okay, by uh, purchasing the website for my link, I'm, ref I'm you are doing me favor so I can earn something and uh, I can create, I can uh, keep working and uh, creating more videos. So after you purchase the, the Elementor Pro, I'm gonna go and install it. It's gonna be the same process again by going to plugins. From here, add new plugin, upload plugin, choose file. I do have that in desktop and tutorial. Here we go, Elementor Pro. I'm gonna hit open. I'm gonna hit install. It's going to take a few seconds until the installation will be done. So after the installation is done, we have to activate the plugin. Now, still going to ask us to uh, connect and activate to our uh, Elementor account, which by clicking on the connect and activate, it's going to redirect you. If this is the right account, I can say yes, activate. And uh, now, now we have the Elementor full. From here, we can go and we can create our website. Okay, that's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.